We're lonely dancers, baby. Join me for the night. <laughs> Where'd you go, go? Allie Rose. I put on my yellow shirt, babes. It's time. Hey babes, it's Tuller Time Music Box and welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting. I'm so f excited. I've been waiting for this job, babes. We are reacting to Conan Bray. <laughs> we are reacting to Conan Gray's new album, Found Heaven. I am so ready to dive into this goddamn album. Super Ache absolutely f enjoyed me. It was such a great album. I think it will be an extremely hard follow-up for me because I really am so in love with that album, but we're gonna give Found Heaven her flowers, we're gonna give it a chance, and we're gonna listen to it today on the channel. I definitely believe the feel of this album will be very di different from Super Ache and Kid Crow and all of Conan's other eras. I think it's gonna be extremely different based on like the singles that I have heard. I've heard Killing Me, Alley Rose, and lonely dancers those are the three songs that i've heard so far and they all every single one sounds completely different if you want to see any of those reactions i'll put a conan playlist up here if you want to go watch them or and i'll put my conan playlist at the end of the video for y'all super egg just absolutely destroyed me and I, I don't know what to expect from this found heaven album i'm kind of nervous because like i really don't know if it can live up to super ape super ache it's one of my favorite albums. Like, I, I just don't know. I'm scared, I'm nervous. But anyways, let's get into this album. Let's talk about this cover art, y'all, babes. Let's talk about how beautiful Conan looks with his majestic ass lion mane. He's so pretty, he's got his nice lion mane. Beautiful makeup going on. We got some blue, some red, some yellow, and some stars. It's kind of giving patriotic, but it's also kind of giving like cowboy with this outfit. I have no idea. Is he gonna get in his country bag on some of these songs? I have no idea. Everyone's been in their country bag, so I'm just, I have country music on my mind. But he looks great. He looks like a star. I watched the Zach sing interviews, and he definitely has found heaven. He fell in love, and he got his heart broken. Dumped. 60,000 feet in the air. <laughs> I was stumped while I was on an airplane. So I'm excited to hear some of these tracks based on that information. Out of the three singles that I have heard, my favorite is definitely Alley Rose. That one broke my heart. Like we were in an alleyway, bitch, and someone broke his heart. And I'm so pissed at them. I liked the vibe of Lonely Dancers, especially with the music video, but definitely sonically, it's such a different sound. It sounds like a British bob. I, I don't I don't understand. It's just, it's different. And then Killing Me. It's okay. It's not my favorite song of Conan's, but it's still like a decent track. Let's get into the tracks that I think will ruin me today on the channel, babes. I think one that's really going to destroy me is this one that I don't know how to pronounce because it's already destroyed me because of that. It's like Bujo... Bujoizy? <laughs> Bourgeoisies? I don't know. Bourgeoisies? I don't know how the hell you say this shit, but I know what it is, I believe. I think it's like, isn't like the, that's something like in society, like there's like that and then there's like the, fuck, what is it called? It's like two different social classes. I forgot which one's which too, but that song, I think it's just going to destroy me because I can't say the word. And I'm just excited to hear him pronounce this word. I hope he says the word in his song. Another song that I think is going to destroy me is Miss You. Conan, who are you missing, bro? Like, who is on your mind? That stressing me out. Her. He got broken up with on the plane. Like, are we missing this person who broke up with you? Please, no, Conan. Please don't. This album is 13 songs long. I've heard three of them. It's 36 minutes and 45 seconds. We'll play little snippets of the ones I've heard, but if you want to see the full reactions, they're on the channel. Like I said, Conan playlist will be linked at the end of the video. Now that we got all that intro stuff out the way, babes, let's get into the first track. And it is called Found Heaven. Conan Gray. Brand new album, baby. Also important to note that none of his other albums, I believe, have the title of the album in as a song. Like there's not a song called Kid Crow. There's not a song called Super Eight. Those were just the titles of the album. But we actually have a, a title track and it's the first track too, the opening track. Definitely interesting since his other albums didn't have that. Like the piano riff. You walk alone into the darkest night. love he's not gonna sleep conan's not gonna sleep until he finds love because he's not satisfied oh we're gonna get some heartbreak on this album wait i need to look up lyrics i don't i have a hard time understanding sometimes what artists are saying 
like the enunciation is just not there for me. All right, Conan Gray found heaven lyrics. Help a girl out, please. You walk alone into the darkest night. You'll never sleep until you're satisfied. You need love. You need one. You need him. Okay, interesting. You need him. What that means? Conan, what does that mean? Dude, this is so different. This is so different than Super Break. I'm just trying to take a step back for a second. Oh, is this Conan Gray? <laughs> I like it so far. It's just like really different. So I'm trying to like let it like sink in. It's kind of like Lonely Dancers. It was just so different. Also the don't be scared little child, you're no demon. Just because your parents were mean to you doesn't mean that you're a demon, I swear. Like it's okay. Okay, so just don't be scared, you know, you found love, you found heaven. Just because you didn't get love from your parents, you were still able to find it. Maybe Conan was feeling like he was never going to be able to find it, it just wasn't in the cards for him. But it seems like he got it, so let's see, let's find out what happened. I know he lost it, so I'm a little, I'm a little sad for him that it didn't last long enough, but... Oh. Your heart is breaking as you leave that door Pack your bags So synthy. This is such a different sound. Like sunset season was very like wallflower energy, like indie. I felt, you know, Kid Crow was kind of still that same type of vibe, riding that wave. Super Ache was like pop, just like sad boy, like rip my guts. And this is just like it's pop, but it's giving like I don't know what else to say, but British pop. That's what it sounds like to me, and it's with the sense and just it makes me kind of rock and roll almost a little bit kind of just like a little bit rock and roll undertones like i don't know that's what it's making me feel like oh hey, hey, range is still there though that was found having the first track i'm gonna need some time to sew with it i'm not gonna lie sonically it's just it's so much sonically like there's just a lot going on the lyrical content i just Basically got that Conan fell in love. We're going into never ending song. I'm thinking maybe it's just like a love spell, you know, Conan's in love, this is never gonna end. Like he's gonna be in love, but we know from the interview that the dream was crushed in the sky. Oh my God. Ugh. It'll take some time getting used to for sure this different sound. I don't know if I'll like it as much as Super Eek. I'm gonna be very honest, but I'm willing to listen to anything and sit with it and see how it makes me feel, you know? All right, never ending song. Let's f go. Conan, are you in love, bitch? Like, are you so in love that the song never ends? Oh, God. I know it's gonna end though, because it's only 2 minutes and 34 seconds, Conan. Okay. What in the. To really prefer, like, the other style, his other styles of singing. Like, I feel like these songs. The first two at least are coming off like really performative like he would put on like a really good performance like i would love to see these live i feel like these would hit even harder than super eight seeing it live but for the purpose of like listening with headphones i feel like i like the super eight vibe better but this would be more fun to see live i can totally see it like big production just like him performing hitting these deep ass low no notes like i can see it he said i tried to turn the page but it wasn't stopping maybe like he was just like turning the page but it kept going on and on and just all these things like kept happening this is reminding me so much of like the wallows I mean, that type of like tone, that type of energy. Okay, 
cone and hit the notes back there, baby. Like a never ending song. <coughs> Fuck. I think he sounds incredible, of course. I think these songs would be super fun to see live, but I'm just, they're not my favorites right now. Obviously things can change over time. First listens are first listens, but Allie Rose is still my favorite one that I've heard out of all the tracks that I've heard so far. It definitely just sounded like he was in love and the love just kept on turning. Like, you know, the pages kept turning. They kept building more and more of their story. And now we have fainted love. Are we fainting because we're so in love or is the love starting to like get faint and it's fading away? Come on and let me find out. Let me find out which one it is. I'm scared to know. <laughs> So you're losing your mind tonight. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Me when I'm alone, I literally start losing it. I'm literally alone right now and I'm losing it. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, you're so funny. Get yourself down, not the end of your life. Don't mean that you're marrying me tonight. Is he saying that about the other person? Like, <laughs> is Conan having some insecurity? He's like, you're not marrying me tonight. You know, don't worry. You're not marrying me tonight. Don't get yourself down. Conan, why are we saying that? What's going on? The love is getting faint. Oh, oh no. <laughs> literally said you got it we're nothing i'm the worst if you want it so i guess conan was like it i'm gonna take what i can get i'm experiencing love for the first time and i'm head over heels and then conan's like when your heart aches and it's dead in the night don't worry for me it's cool it's enough to survive don't you worry i want your fainted love that's enough fainted love conan and then it's sad because conan was like you know don't worry you're not marrying me tonight in the first verse it's like that famous quote, we accept the love we think we deserve. Like, I feel like Conan's not feeling highly of himself and he's accepting like this fainted love. No, Conan, we need to accept better love than this, please. We need the full package. We need someone to fully be invested in you. We take all the pain that we think we deserve. I'm literally fucking gagged. I literally just talked about pricks of being wallflower, that quote. I cannot speak. I'm diseased. That was Fain in Love. I'm trying to see, like, show the credits. So, it was written by Conan Gray and Max Martin. Productionally, like, I do think the album is heavy and I think it sounds great. I think the music is good. I just feel like I'm not necessarily liking the lyrical content as much as Super 8. Like, I feel like Super 8, they had some hard wrenching lines that ripped my guts out. I don't know, these first three songs, I haven't felt like my guts were ripped out yet. Like, Ally Rose, I feel like, I don't know I keep saying that one, but it's still this outstander track for me, The Outlier. Like, I just felt like my guts were ripped out. Alright, we're gonna get into Lonely Dancers. I'ma listen to it for a little second and bop. But I have heard it. If you want to see my reaction to the song and the music video, I'll link it up here for you. dancing on ourselves on the dance floor because they might have just like scurried away for a second and we're like where the f is my purse and where did they go and now we're getting to Ally Rose like literally where did you go you never came back you abandoned me the placement in the album of these two songs back to back is so sad <laughs> Ooh, 
your fingers around my neck this could go one or two ways and i'm scared i don't know if i want to listen to the next line don't leave me hanging alone again like it's just so good <laughs> the chorus is just so powerful and i love the low register for the verse and then we go into this like really high like expansive ass just ringing it out like screaming like where did you go why did you leave me lonely on the dance floor it's just so the placement is so good i'm sorry y'all cannot tell me that it's not the best track so far it's just so good it's so good <laughs> the next song is called the final fight oh, we went from where did you go you know ally rose where the f why did you leave me lonely on the dance floor and i guess this is going to be the final fight that ended it all Ooh, let me pull up the lyrics, girl. Ooh. I hear like a little clave back there. Ooh, I like this one too. I like this one. I love the line. For the lost time, for the hurting, for the love that died. I tried to bite back, but I couldn't. I just stood and cried. He wanted to fight back. He wanted to get aggressive back with this person, but he just couldn't. And he just stood there and cried. And, you know, he's sad because he spent all this time with this person. All this pain he, like, got from this person for the love that died. It just sucks to go through this. And it's like, sometimes you wish you didn't. But in the end, like, you get your experience. You get growth from it. But it hurts in the moment. I, I get it, Conan. It actually seemed really sad because what I'm getting from the lyrics is that Conan didn't have that final fight with this person. I mean, especially if they broke up with him on an airplane. I'm assuming he didn't get to say his piece, have his final fight. If you're watching this goddamn video and you break up with people over text, y'all need to get a grip. Y'all need to f call the goddamn person. My god. But, um, especially if, like, it was, like, you know, a rather serious relationship. Oh, and that's so rude. <laughs> but, anyways, it just kind of sucks. It doesn't seem like he got to have his final piece and he didn't get to have closure, it seems. And that's really upsetting. He got a bit of distance, but then he came back after growing, yet you're still the same. I mean, yeah, they're probably still the same, especially if they broke up with you on an airplane. They probably have so much growth to do before they're ever ready to be in a stable relationship. I mean, that's just not mature. Definitely didn't predict what was gonna happen. I thought we were actually gonna have our final fight, but I guess we didn't get to have it, and that's super upsetting. Conan was not able to get any closure, not able to say his piece towards this person, and this person just kind of like cut that off in a really immature way, breaking up with him on the airplane. But I'll keep bringing that that context. He's not saying that in the song, Conan, but I just know from the interview that I watched. And then we're going into miss you, Conan. No, don't miss this person's ass. They literally did you so dirty. It seems like. I miss you. Feeding me, Conan. Who is feeding you? The fear of love is my tendency. But I never meant to break your heart. But I lost it. Left you dancing in the dark. Wait, hold up. Is this written like, is this like the closure track like that? Conan's writing like in the perspective of the other person, like how maybe like they're singing back to Conan, or was Coney the one who was Conan the one who left them dancing lonely? Dude, I have questions right now. If Conan did this, this might be told from the perspective of the other person. That's what I'm feeling. I'll be gone because you love me. I miss you. I miss you. After all that I put you through. I like the story that we're getting, but 
think the sound is just really hard for me to digest right now. Like I'm swimming right now. Dude, this production goes so hard though. It sounds like we're in a video game. I'm having such a hard time with this because I really love the production. Like I literally sounded like I was in a video game, truly. But I'm having a hard time syncing the way he's singing with the production and the style of it all together. It's just hard for me. And I feel like the lyrical content is getting a little repetitive, especially towards like the ending parts of the song. I don't know y'all, I don't know. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just, I'm all over the place with this reaction. I hope this reaction is okay. I feel stressed. We're getting into bujo <laughs> Bougeoises? Bujo. Girl, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this anymore. Let's just go. This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassing myself in this reaction. Let's just keep going. voice effect they have on his voice. Also, who's this blonde chick on the TV? What's happening? Bourgeoisies. Whew, that is a mouthful. Say that five times. That's bourgeoisies, 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 bourgeoisies. I kind of killed that actually. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> So he, he wants to be with like the high class, the wealthy, okay? I need a Maserati. That's not a favorite, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't deny, like, the production is still really good. Like, the production's good. He has a good voice. I think I'm just, it's not, I'm not a fan of the style. It's, and the repetitive lyrics. It's just kind of not my vibe. Next, we're getting in to number nine, and it's Forever With Me. Who's forever with you, Conan? What's going on? Are you just forever with yourself? Oh my god, that's really sad. I hope that's not what that means. Like that he said and after all this time i wonder why you're still with me well <laughs> at least in all my memories you're not actually here in my presence but you won't get out my mind like you won't leave it i can't stop thinking about you <laughs> i love that I sorry. I kind of like really like this one because I think that's like such a cool concept of someone's kind of forever with you like they're forever gonna be a part of your story you can't really erase them out of your life like and even if they're not there physically anymore like the memory of them is there and the memory of them can haunt you or you know sometimes you can look back and be like oh that was a good memory you can think fondly of them you can think negatively there's just it's forever with you that's for sure you are the reason I learned to love also the reason that I cry Ooh, the is a good answer, God. I'm even smiling now as I sing But I ain't sorry Ooh. I wouldn't change a thing to get better I really like this one, even though we're still getting that pop synth vibe. Like, I love how 
open and expansive the chorus is. It's just hitting. Like, it just, it, it puts the knife through the heart, you know? I ain't sorry. No, I should probably be. The octave change. With me. Oh, the chord. Oh, the little jingly bells in the background. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like that one. I like that one a lot. All right, definitely liked Forever with Me. It was the pickup I needed after. I don't even remember how to say this word. Bourgeoisies is that how you say it? Girl, the way I just described this song as the pick me up I needed after Bourgeoisies is what the fuck is wrong with me? I am not well. Forever with me is definitely up there with Ali Rose. I love what it's about. I love the lyrical content of the song. I loved the key change at the end. Just ugh, like taking that last chorus and like changing it up, going higher with the key was nice. And yeah, it was just like the memories of you know, a past lover forever with you and, you know, it's just, I love just the concept of the whole song. It's good. Definitely gonna be most likely in my top three. We're getting into Eye of the Night. It's giving Eye of the Tiger <laughs> or some shit. I don't know. Eye of the Tiger. Eye of the Night. Or is it who's got his eye for the night? Come in, we've got your, your eye. eye. Do you see someone and you think they're cute across the dance floor and you want to like talk to them? Ooh. Ooh. This one's giving like Halloween energy. he's being haunted this one definitely gives like october energy like if this would have been released in october this track as a single i feel like it would have been like super fitting for like that spooky season vibe or something it's like this thing is just haunting him the past memory of someone and it's like controlling his thoughts and he can't his mind's like wandering you know i know if i'm haunting you you must be haunting me Love the bass guitar in this one. I hear your heart beat bleeding through the floor. I hear your heartbeat bleeding through the floor. God damn. Your heartbeat bleeding through the floor. Oh my goodness. The memories that I cannot ignore. That one also could just be like the eye of the night like as the night comes like peak night time like it's just haunting him the night the nights whenever you're just alone most of the time you're in your bed you're laying alone in your room and you're just able to like really just be in your thoughts be in your peak sadness <laughs> i think that's what he means by like eye of the night and just all these past memories this past love is haunting him we're getting into boys and girls is it gonna be like girls love girls and boys that's what it makes me think of by panic at the disco love that song or is it just gonna be like boys and girls go crazy for each other like what's the vibe conan conan gray mr conan if I fell over and died. Sigh. I'm not the only. Bro. It sounds like you need to get rid of their ass because they don't sound like a good person. This person he's singing about, are they a bi king or queen? Because he's like, he wants you, she wants you like everyone else in your life. That's right. Ooh, so this person maybe that Conan's singing about is super admired by several people. Okay. Boys 
Dude, weird. oh my god. Okay, so basically just like the boys and the girls like this person. I think that Conan's singing about. <laughs> Nobody cares that you're psychotic, I guess, because they just have such a charm to them. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, that was nice. nice. Fathers and daughters, all their pants are dropping. I'm not being ironic. <laughs> Dude, what is this person doing to cast a spell on these people? They must be super charming and have such like a, a lore to them. If <laughs> fathers and daughters' pants are dropping. See myself just doing like this. Alright, that one was fun. I think the production is so fun. And actually I think a lot of these tracks would be super fun to dance to at the concert and stuff, and I would be vibing and having fun. I think it's just so hard because I'm such a lyrically driven person and the lyrics aren't hitting for me as hard on this one. But I do appreciate the production a lot. I think it's very well produced. I think it's also though, even though it is super well produced, not a style that I really listen to a lot. So I think I would have to listen to this like a lot to get used to the types of sounds. I don't listen to any other music that sounds like this. So it's just very different. It's fun to just get into the beats. And I was just like, boys and girls. I don't know, let me know what y'all think. I really wanna know what y'all think about this album. Definitely share your thoughts down below and please be respectful also. We're getting into Killing Me. I have heard this song. This was the other single that I've heard. This is the first one I had heard from this era. his vocal range the way he's getting high and then he goes into the runs so many runs on this song i love the runs conan i also think that it was a great follow-up song from boys and girls because boys and girls was kind of like just how there's this person who conan loves or likes so much and everyone else has a crush on them they're just admirable they got lore to them and conan's like embarrassed he's like you're killing me like literally everyone else is in love with you and now i'm in love with you and this is embarrassing so i love the follow up from boys and girls the way killing me was placed the placements with the singles i do have to say have been hitting conan knew what he was doing with the placement conan all right we're getting into winter i know this was a single but i haven't heard this one so we're gonna listen to it and we're ending on winter so <laughs> either conan won or this other person won i'm thinking i hope conan won <laughs> i don't know though <laughs> let's find out i guess Packed my bags of 14 I didn't plan on leaving the pots and pans and roaches. Ooh. Let them finally go. They shudder at your name. Ooh. You don't really want to hear the truth. It's obvious to anyone who ever knew you. Oh, one whoever has done better at making me feel worse. Ooh. There is no one that has ever done better at making me feel worse. Oh my god, drag their ass, Conan. What the fuck? Dude, someone is literally hammering above me right now. What is going on? Oh no, they're the winner. Dude, I hope the song has a twist. That's such a sad way to end. Dude, how do I somehow feel guilty? Because this person has the nerve to miss me. My goodness. Ugh, that's their manipulation tactics are fucking strong. That's how. Oh, I 
like that line i was only trying to survive your chaos but look how it's paid off like the chaos of you that i had to deal with <laughs> look how it's paid off like i'm f like, trying to survive and i'm just so broken and you won like i can't fight your ass anymore <laughs> No, because they didn't even give you the final fight. That's what made me sad. We're ending on the winner or winner. Conan Gray, I have questions, Conan Gray. Conan is just like, you won. Like, I, I can't do this anymore. I guess, like, if that person wanted to go back and forth, Conan was like, I'm not doing that shit. Absolutely not. That was Found Heaven, y'all. I have a lot of feelings about this album. I feel like there's some songs I really didn't like on first listen. And there's some songs that I like a good bit on first listen and some that I've heard of singles that have sat with me through time and I liked those. Alley Rose wrenched to my guts. Only Dancers also in, is, has me in the pit of my stomachs feeling my peak loneliness. I liked the concept of the final fight just like Conan never got it and there's just no closure there. I like the boys in the girl song, kind of just, you know, everyone admires them. I thought it was a little repetitive, but I do like it. I think this is an album that I might have to listen to a few times to fully appreciate and fully catch the vibes of it. I'm sure there's going to be some songs that I was like, I didn't really like that song and I'm going to go back and listen to it. I'm going to be like, eee. I'm going to be, I'm literally going to go back and be like, bourgeoisies, bitch, bourgeoisies. Like, I'm going to go. I'm gonna come back and be like loving that song, I bet. Definitely my favorites off of this one have got to be, if we're gonna pick a top three, it's Allie Rose is the number one. I mean, that track just really stands out to me as that track, it's that girl. Number two has got to be Forever With Me. I really liked that one, that one was really nice. I like the concept too of like someone's memories, past love, they stay with you forever. And I loved like the lyrical content, I thought the production was pretty good. That's definitely number two for me. And then number three, number three is probably Lonely Dancers. I, it's weird because that one's so synthy poppy, but I don't know. There's something about that one that I just like. I think it's just, I still like the lyrical content as well. It hits hard for me. I think the production is amazingly well produced, but it's also like a different production that I'm not used to, a different sound, a different vibe. And I don't know. I don't know if it's like a style that I necessarily like. It's kind of like country music, like I gotta get into it and see if I like it. And I, I don't know if I'm into this like synthy pop sound. I don't know if that's the right genre. Synthy pop rock, what, I don't know. We don't need to classify a genre because God forbid Beyonce said not to, so I'm not gonna do that. But I don't know if I like this like style, I guess. There's definitely some tracks that I'll be taking out into the liked playlist, like Lonely Dancers, Alley Rose, Forever With Me, Killing Me. Those are coming with me, but I don't know. I need to go back and listen to a few more of these tracks, but let me know what your favorite tracks are off of the album. How do y'all feel about this new sound? And if you made it to the end, babes, as always, you're beautiful and sexy, and thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Please subscribe. Please like the video if you want to see more Conan Gray reactions on the channel. That's going to be it for today, but I will see y'all soon with some more reactions on the channel. I hope that y'all have a lovely day, beautiful night, beautiful weekend, afternoon, morning, whatever that is for you whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see y'all soon with some new reactions. Later, babes.